What are telomeres? What do they have to do with aging? And how might they expose a Vulcan conspiracy? Find out right now. Hello, my name is Mohammed Noor. I'm a biology professor at Duke University, and I'm an occasional science consultant for the Star Trek universe. I'm very excited to talk with you today about a feature of chromosomes called telomeres, and specifically what they might have to do with the aging process. And we're going to discuss this today using an episode of Enterprise. So let's go ahead and get started. So this example comes from the Enterprise episode called The Forge, which is the first in a three episode arc. So in this episode, some DNA evidence was recovered from an unexploded bomb, and it was found to match the DNA of a Vulcan lady named Tapau that was on file. But Dr. Phlox, the doctor on the Enterprise, investigates this further and points to something on the view screen and says, These are telomeres, a genetic clock, if you will. Each time a cell divides, they grow shorter. Engineer Tucker, who's there too, says, Sure, that's how you tell how old someone is from a cell sample. Dr. Flox replies, though Tapau's current age is 32 standard years, her DNA recovered from the bomb has an age of only a few months. So can you really tell age from genetics and from these telomeres? Well, let's talk about this depiction. I'm going to start with a quick refresher on some basic genetics that you may have seen in some of my other videos. So DNA. DNA is the hereditary material in basically all life on the planet. It has four types of building blocks to it that we abbreviate with the letters A, C, G, and T. The DNA is assembled into large packages that we call chromosomes. And we humans have 23 pairs of such chromosomes in pretty much every cell of our bodies. Whenever new cells are made in our bodies, which happens a lot, this full set of chromosomes is copied and placed into the new cells. Now, what I want to focus on today is the ends of these chromosomes. Those are called telomeres. And that's not just a name for the area, but these telomeres are different from the rest of the chromosomes. They don't have many genes that encode for specific traits like red hair. Instead, these ends have short stretch of DNA letters repeating over and over and over again. And they're bound by certain kinds of proteins. So this combination of repeating DNA and proteins provides a sort of protective cap to all your chromosomes. Some people say they're kind of like the plastic tips at the ends of shoelaces because they prevent chromosomes from fraying or from sticking together. Now, because of how chromosomes are copied into new cells, this full length of this telomere repetitive DNA isn't actually copied into new cells as they're formed. Instead, a little bit, maybe a hundred or so of those DNA letters, is lost every time a new copy is made. Fortunately, they're pretty long at first, and there is an enzyme that adds more letters in some kinds of cells. But eventually, after the cell replicates more and more in adults, the telomeres and their DNA letters may be almost gone. When that happens, the cell stops dividing normally, and that could make it either die or malfunction so this progressive shortening of telomere length is correlated with age. Again, telomeres get shorter as you get older, and this shortening may contribute directly to age-related health problems. Now, many things may affect the size of telomeres and the rate with which they shorten. So some disease mutations in humans lead to unusually short telomeres. This could lead to things like bone marrow failure, where a person doesn't make enough blood cells, or it could lead to things like lung disease. But in addition to genetics, your experiences also seem to have an effect on how fast your telomeres shorten. For example, chronic stress and smoking are both associated with shorter telomeres. On the other hand, there's some evidence that aerobic exercise is associated with longer telomeres. And all these measurements are just averages that are usually measured using blood cells. A very recent study showed that different tissues in your body have their telomeres shortened with age at different rates with blood being one of the fastest to shorten and reproductive tissues being among the slowest. But overall, telomeres do shorten with age in general, and health problems come up when they get too short. So telomeres may be an important part of aging declines more generally. So back to this episode, Dr. Flox's description was pretty good. Telomeres do indeed get shorter with age, 
If they had a DNA sample from Tapal from when she was registered as an infant, as they said they did in this episode, they should be able to check if that sample from the crime scene is smaller than that original sample or not. Since it was the same size, it looks like an infant, not an adult DNA sample. So either Vulcan genetics is different, or someone was, in fact, trying to have Tapau falsely accused. That or she planted the bomb as a baby. We're assuming that's not the case. <laughs> but again, good genetics saves the day in Star Trek by exposing a conspiracy. And although it was a passing comment in the episode, this observation was essential to the storyline and based on accurate, real-world biology. Yes! I love Enterprise. <laughs> well, had you heard of telomeres before or their role in aging? And what did you think of that usage in this episode? Let us know in the comments and thank you for tuning into Biotrekkie Explains. See you next time.